Good afternoon. Today we're going to convert an AutoCAD DXF file into an Exelon drill. So you're looking at the AutoCAD right now and you can see that it's a wafer. If we zoom in here, we'll see that there's a number of these cells. And in each cell we have this circle on one layer it's on laser diameter. It's a one millimeter in diameter. And then we have a number of small circles that seem to drill out that big circle. These are 0.3 millimeter in diameter and they're on a layer called laser via. I'm not sure which layer should be processed. I'll just process both and we'll see what happens. I'm going to use the ASM502 program to go from DXF to Gerber and then Gerber view from Gerber to drill. So let's start by selecting our DXF file. We need to tell the program that this is in millimeters and our working directory is this PEPS directory. So we'll open the file and it gives us a bunch of information. Now we'll configure the translator. We'll start with the Gerber settings. We want our output in millimeters and our format will be 3.5. There's no text for translation options. We'll put the default decode on 10. Set our arc resolution to 9, it really doesn't matter. So all this other stuff doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is 274x. We'll continue and now we'll set some apertures. Call this wafer drill.apt. We'll create it. We have a default decode of 10, which is for things that are not going to be our flashes, and we'll set that to 0.02. Now we're going to use the flash circle function, which will find all the circles in the DXF file and create a flash with a name and a diameter for them. Now these two guys here are actually the wafer diameter and the wafer margin. We don't need those, so we're going to clear that line and clear that line. So all we have are the uh, one millimeter diameter flash and the 0.3 millimeter diameter flash. Now we're going to select our layers. We don't need these other layers. All we care about is laser via and laser diameter. We'll just use outline on decode 10 for anything that's not a flash. The flashes will be automatically picked up. And now we're going to run our translation. It gave me two warnings. It just turns out that there's no text font, but since there's no text, we don't care about that. And now let's view our Gerber data. So we've got two separate Gerber files we're looking at. Let's zoom in on them and see what we have here. All right, we don't care about that little rectangle. What we care about is this area here. So let's turn these off individually. We'll turn off the magenta one first. And if I turn off the fill, there's all my original uh, little drills. And if I do an info on one of these, it shows me that it's a flash and there's the exact location of the flash. So that's good because I'll be able to convert that directly into a drill. Go to the other layer and turn that one on. If I do an info on this guy, we see that he's also a flash and he's a one millimeter flash. So we've got our two flashes that we need and everything else we'll ignore. In order to create a drill file from these, first we have to set up our drill tool. So we'll go to the aperture and edit our aperture table. These are our two flashes, so we'll call that tool one and tool two, and we'll set tool one to one millimeter, and we'll set tool two to 0.3. All right, so now let's go to tools, drill, Exelon leading. And you see we have two different drill files, each with one tool count. We can do a report and we see that uh, this guy has 6,516 holes. And if we do a report on this guy, we'll see that he has 130,000 holes. And if we just click OK, we generate our two drill files. So let's look in our directory and there's our laser via drill and there's our laser diameter drill. And these are the two little report files that you might want to keep with those. It hasn't taken very long to produce this. These can be sent to the manufacturer to drill all of the holes in the design. Thank you.